Aaron Corbin. Get it done for all. You're acting like Kurt's in the freaking match himself, which no, he's clearly he isn't. not. Battle of the Booed Warriors. I take one look at this matchup and... I've got a bad uh, feeling about this. Was one Winner of Money in the Bank 2018 to bring you the moment Dave Batista quit no, WWE I really didn't like Batista quit, no though. No one cares about Roman Re I mean, no one cares what's trending. <laughs> and this was the bad feeling I had about this match. Not even three seconds into it, and the fans are already chanting random things. I can't and believe that. Care. It was really that Why fast. Why they even buy tickets if they don't even care? Yeah, yeah. like, seriously. Like Beach balls ruin everyone. two hours before the crowd finally started chanting for their hometown failure of a UFC fight. Jinder Mahal's shoulder was off the map before yeah. Roman could even pin him. So that wasn't even a one count. Hey, it's a miracle. <laughs> <laughs> a miracle. Corey Graves is fucking awesome. Uh -huh. Only reason fans are chanting this is awful is because they don't like Jinder or Roman. Putting my differences for the wrestlers aside, when I look at the match itself, it's actually not yeah, awful. Yeah, you're right. Hell was Seriously, better than the Sammy versus Bobby Roman match earlier. Was just too much. I thought Roman called himself the uncrowned Universal Champion, not the rightful one. Yeah. Brock Lesnar still the Universal Champion. Stop reminding us about it's the most also lazy, an abomination. pathetic, disgraceful, unprofessional, humiliating, idiotic, and above all, embarrassing title reign in the history of this entire fucking company! <laughs> what? Oh you my god. Oh, that was great. Ah, your leg got stuck. Great comedy from you. Adding in three sins for the fans once again bringing in those stupid beach balls. Yeah, Actually, like I seriously, what, what is it with the beach balls? To. The fans for bringing in oh, beach balls or the security for somehow letting that get past them when the fans enter. Like seriously, what is with the beach Roman balls that it happened in SummerSlam, I think, and then... Uh, and that's why you it kept do going. That when like, is that been a thing going like on over venue Royal events Rumble? at WWE? Apparently, getting a Superman punch from Roman Reigns causes an invisible ghost to give you a German suplex. Chicago must be haunted. Uh, Obviously, on Money in the Bank. Yeah. Also, nearly three damn minutes of recap the point of the first of three damn matches the of the night. Like, what the matches. hell? We've already seen them it and shown no them sense. to us again. Doesn't do anything except waste our time. Yeah. Just another five sins. Yeah. This Oscar got a championship match for absolutely no reason at all. Two hundred cents. We will never see the undefeated Asuka again because after you lose, you can never be undefeated yeah, ever again. Yeah, such a disappointment. Who gives a shit about Hulu? Uh, Money in the bank is presented by... Skip! <laughs> I knew it. Am I even watching WWE anymore? Apparently the PG oh, has finally bought Crystal Miracle. It's just a disappointment. Carmella before Tom even realized that I can't she was believe they're never all. going away so to PG-14 anytime soon. Someday? You mean Asuka is not interested in holding the SmackDown Women's Championship tonight despite competing for it? Or did Corey just spoil the fact that Carmella retains the title tonight? Asuka! <laughs> Carmella's kick to the ropes did absolutely nothing to Asuka as she was already sitting down on the turnbuckle. Uh, Asuka. Even Asuka's hip is strong with the force. Uh, Go figure. Yeah. Ref, over one full minute of a staring contest with one of them not even being a participant in this match. That's a first. God damn James Ellsworth. Seriously. the whole thing. Tom, it's my <laughs> job to tell <laughs> you that you watched. It looks While like Triple he knows H versus The Undertaker does that sell tickets, it makes a complete event. mockery of their entire rivalry by having a match for virtually no reason at all. At this point, WWE legends have now become nothing more than amusement park attractions, which is fucking disgraceful to those legends. Yeah, I mean, the fact that The Undertaker... Still continued after WrestleMania 30, and then still continue after WrestleMania 33, and then he's still competing in a match, especially that he's competing in the match with no bell up and nothing but ticket sales. It's really disappointing onto how they treat the Undertaker like this. I mean, the Undertaker can't run or walk anymore because he's getting older, and he's getting worse and worse with each year past. Seriously, he should have remained undefeated by facing. John Cena as his final point at WrestleMania 33. I would easily do my fancy bookings on what the Undertaker should face and should become a Hall of Famer for this year's WrestleMania, but at the same time, that would be for a different time. Besides, I don't think it's really necessary to show it since it's too late. Music. By intentionally trying to make Shinsuke's theme not go in sync with the original, the crowd's singing has become even worse. Yeah. 
AJ Styles, non pyro pyro. Sorry, I actually knew I was going to say that every time I see this. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of disappointing. Seriously, four matches is just enough. This is half and half. Half of the crowd are actually counting the correct number, whereas the other half are doing the stupid 10 chance. Yeah. So all I hear is noise. Yeah, but at least the 10 wow, cent the referee's voice and like all the other times happen, he appreciates last happen. man standing Once, matches. Okay, yeah. Is there like a microphone attached to his shirt or something? I th okay, AJ's? I think... Uh, Web referees have microphones most of the time. I mean, I did see some microphones over referees' eos or something in other promotions. And I think WWE is just doing the same thing. If you All don't right, believe me, I think that I, I think the referee from WrestleMania 12 also announced the main event of Bret Hart and Shawn Michaels. It's not funny the third time that happens in one paper. Yeah, you're right. You don't get the participation trophies. Participation trophies are an abomination anyway. Oh my god. And Nakamura somehow. Shinsuke drunk uh. <laughs> Shinsuke's face as AJ sees the low blow coming is priceless. Here's a sent off. Haven't been doing much of that lately. Yeah, tonight. kind of disappointing. Perfectly legal. Fail A kick. Uh. How the hell has AJ Styles not learned his lesson? Never attempt a phenomenal forearm when your opponent is literally within arm's reach. It never worked before, it's never gonna work now. Yeah. Dancing as well. Table dismantle dance. <laughs> Damn, that throw into the table was brutal. Well done to those two. This is the best match of the night. Well, this match was pretty good. Unfortunately, the reason why it was over 30 minutes long was because of situations like this. Yeah. Don't get me wrong, that's usually it's really sad that WWE doesn't works, go fast paced but anymore. Take out the many times there are counts and we would be done it's with 13 It's probably the match. charm that they did back in the day. Oh. So much for chair shots to the head are illegal during oh my the PG era rule, right? I think you said that before. Shinsuke's weird obsession for AJ Styles. Oh, yeah. Oh. Honestly, it would have been a lot more cool if AJ hit the stairs. Yeah, that's what I thought he was going to do when he was on top of the, the stairs. stairs. If you combine the many times Shinsuke hit AJ in his styles, you get this full force of AJ kicking Shinsuke in his Nakamura's. Jesus, that was brutal. Yeah. At this rate, AJ won't have any more kids, and Shinsuke won't have... Any kids. <laughs> oh my God. Oh. The phenomenal forearm through the table was a great way to conclude this last man yeah. standing match. Very well done match by both these guys. And I'm really happy yeah, that yeah, AJ Styles Jax won. Is the one who challenged Ronda Rousey instead of the other way around. But that still doesn't change the fact that Ronda didn't earn this title match. Yeah. Nia is 6-2? Then what was up with the tail of the tape saying that she was just 6 foot? Which one is giving out the incorrect info? Here. Bad idea. Oh my Nia. god, more monologue in. But this is Ronda Rousey you're dealing with yeah. here. Jax could be fading. How is Nia fading? She's about to easily lift up Ronda and slam her to the ground. Challenger down. Oh, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this is the second match that she's participating in. She's always I messing like up. I like that we actually show Nia Jax as an irresistible force rather than my fear of this being an easy and dominant Sorry, match. Sorry, there was Ronda. a. This was a lot better than the nightmare I had in my head. Discount Ryback. Uh, I miss Ryback. Here's two sins for Jonathan thinking Ronda being placed in a bear hug qualified as well, getting arrested. Uh, Ronda, your shoe's untied. Uh -huh. Oh, no. oh my admit, god. That was amazing strength from Ronda. Oh. Maybe if Ronda didn't waste her time taunting Nia and teasing the arm bar, she actually would have well, been able to win the match in the title. Well, even if she won the match, then um, it won't make a difference because she would cash in and hold money in the bank. Money in the briefcase contract. You had one job, JoJo. I'm removing another five cents for this awesome money in the bank cash yeah. moment. Alexa Bliss it's makes history by being the quickest female to cash in the contract uh -huh. in just 90 minutes. Yep. This was a truly awesome But moment. the good news is that Webber has the champion, champion for you won't have to worry about the money in the bank from now on until the next deal. So great five cents. Removed. This music honestly sounds like the Money in the Bank ladder match is death tribute. Not everything needs to be so dramatic. <laughs> the champion of their respective brand. But why can't they choose which champion they can cash in on? If Oscar got to choose the title from SmackDown, despite being yeah, they did the same thing last year. Well, not then really, what's but what's so wrong with still, any of these guys cashing in on the champion really of the upsetting. opposite brand? Those from Raw have a better chance cashing in on the WWE title anyway. Well. At least we know who's going to win this match. And the good thing is, is that at least someone who's coming back, I know it's going to happen. I know I'm going to explain more later on. Sorry to waste time. Nearly 70 
superstars that competed in these matches. Why couldn't you just say 60? Because that's the exact number of wrestlers who have competed in this match. Oh. Will you please stop calling him Kevin Owens? Oh my god, I didn't know it's that. You're one to talk, stupid hypocrite. Uh. The question is, how are you allowed to talk? That's racist. <laughs> you guys actually thought that Biggie was going to be the one entering this match? You see, this is why you don't listen to those stupid uh, rumor websites yeah, that I think know. they're telling the truth. When it comes to ladder matches, Kofi Kingston is your best bet. Yeah. The wrestlers team up to bring down the big man cliche. Some Mohawk Joe. Turn <laughs> up Money in the Bank 2018. Oh my Money god. Money in the Bank 2010. It's going way that too fast than I thought. That strategy doesn't really work, you know. <laughs> <laughs> How many times do I gotta say it? Climbing sneaking the ladder into the back and door. The briefcase does not qualify as sneaking through the back door. That's exactly how you're supposed to win. Yeah. Kevin, don't even think about this. You've seen worse. Calm down. Also, you're the one who said the commentators can't pick favorites, and yet you're begging Kevin Owens not to splash through Finn Balor. Not once has anyone ever seen such a rise of pure hypocrisy. Oh. Ow, my forearm. <laughs> ah. See, told you. Oh. oh shit, I'm removing three sins. That was an awesome end yeah. to Kevin Owens in this match, especially since he's the one who was begging and everyone to they go out to on the biggest ladder. Kingston. This is actually Look the first that. time where someone's the on the biggest ladder. Be. Oh Holy my shit. god. Damn it, Samoa Joe ruined what could have been an awesome yeah. triple accolade. I know Rusev wouldn't be able to win with that, but it would have still been fun to look uh -huh. at. Miz eliminated. Miz eliminated. Oh my god. Michael, do you think this is the freaking Royal Rumble match? Uh, He's, to steal it again. He's not stealing it, you asshole. Oh it's awesome that Braun won, yeah. but I think it'd be a lot cooler if he literally ripped the briefcase off the hook instead. So that was Money in the Bank 2018 Sins video. And it was pretty great than I thought. It was hilarious, especially his comment on... Let's see, can I try to find it? Sorry, I'm just... Couldn't resist, it's just too great to... Universal Champion. Stop reminding us about the most lazy, ridiculous, pathetic, disgraceful, unprofessional, humiliating, idiotic, and above all, embarrassing title reign in the history of this entire fucking company! <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm gonna keep looking at it over and over again, it's just too genius. I mean, his reaction after waiting for this long just sums up everything of Brock Lesnar's Universal Championship one. But other than that, but especially with that, this was a very great Sins video. He completely did a great job on sitting the latest matches, like the Money in the Bank ladder match. And the only good thing is that this pay-per-view was much better than Backlash. At least, this is an improvement over last time, and it wasn't completely boring. And as for the pay-per-view itself, sorry, I completely enjoy it. Big time. Like... I really enjoy the AJ Styles vs. Shinsei Nakamura match. I mean, it's actually kind of why that AJ won. So his championship win has still going on. He's been champion since November. And as for the winner of the Money in the Big Lab match, I guarantee you that Brock Lesnar is going to use his championship. I think, I, here's my prediction of what's going to happen at SummerSlam. I want Bobby Lashley because he's one of my favorites to face Brock Lesnar. And then when Brock Lesnar it get, gets weakened down, Braun Strowman comes in and cash in, and he becomes the Universal Championship. At least, that will finally end the reign of the Terror Beast. That's basically Brock Lesnar's thing of being Triple H. I know it's not the best I can come up with, come up with but still. Anyway, I'm Lonely Fanboy Boy here and Crystal Miracle. After your vacation, I will still watch more of your Sin videos.